everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. And today I am here with week one of the Lizzie Blanket Crochet Along. This week is called Jane. Every week I will show you a certain sequence of five rows. These five rows will be repeated six times, giving you 30 rows per week. Now I am going to make a sampler for you in the correct colors, showing you the different rows. Now I hope that you will make this sampler along with me, but in a leftover color. Now I've made my sampler in my leftover color and there are many reasons why you should consider doing this. It is going to be very handy for you to try the rows out in a short version. This is going to also serve as a reminder of what you are doing next when you are actually working on your blanket. We will build on this sampler every week and towards the end of the cal, you will be able to use this sampler to try out the border. So I do hope you will make this sampler um, easily just in the one color and then do all your color changes in your proper blanket. So let's get started. For me, I'm going to get started with the first color and I am going to make my sampler. So I'm going to do a slip knot, insert my hook and I'm going to chain 32. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Thirty-two. Now, of course, I am going to make my sampler and I hope that you are going to do this as well in your leftover color. But when you do get started on the blanket, you will be chaining 194 stitches, just like this in gold. Then you are going to do a turning chain. So one chain, you turn your work. And you are going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch. So you disregard the turning chain and you insert into the next chain and you do your half double crochet. Now this turning chain is just going to help us turn so it doesn't count. And I have now made my first stitch. And on top of that is a V. This, when I come back later on, is going to be my last stitch. And to make sure I don't lose sight of my first or my last stitch, I'm going to be placing stitch markers in it. Now I am going to continue placing half double crochets all along my chain. And this is row Jane 1. And I am going to place, of course, 32 half double crochets all along my chain for my sampler. But when you're doing your blanket, you will be doing 194 half double crochets all along your starting chain. Now, the five rows of each week are made up of three what I call simple rows. And they are rows, for instance, like this one, a whole row of half double crochets or a whole row of double crochets. So those simple rows are easy to do and you just place one stitch, whether it be a half double or double or a single crochet, into each stitch along the row. The other two rows of those five rows are what I call special rows. They will require 
a little bit more attention. They will require a bit of counting, skipping stitches, but they will ensure that the blanket has texture and some openings and some interesting features. Those are also the rows that you are going to count your multiples in because it will save you some time if you count your features in the special rows. And I am nearly at the end of my row here. And of course, now, if you are working on your sampler, you will not be changing color. But I am just going to show you how to change colors. So I have gone in to do my half double crochet. Now I should be doing my last pull through, but I'm not going to do that in my gold color. I am going to cut off my yarn and I'm going to use the next color and that is dark brown. So I am just going to hold my yarn and pull it through as if I was already crocheting with it. There we go. Now I'm going to do a chain one. That's my turning chain. I'm going to turn. And now I'm going to do a double crochet into that very first stitch here because we are disregarding this chain. So we need to do a stitch in that very first chain. And once again, I am going to put a stitch marker into the V that we have just created. There we go. Just so that when I get back, to here, I don't forget to do that particular stitch. And this is row chain two. And we are going to place double crochets in every stitch along the row. So on your sampler, you will be doing 32. On your blanket, you will be doing 194. Now, the reason why I'm asking you to do your sampler in a leftover color is because I don't want you to run out of your cal colors. So I'm nearly at the end of my row and indeed here, look, I've got my stitch marker into this last stitch. So I know that I have to do another one there. There we go. And once again, I'm doing half my stitch on my last pull through. I will be ready to change color. Now we are changing color every row, but don't worry, we will not be weaving in any ends. So, khaki, pull it through the last pull through. There we go. And we have changed color. Now we are going to, as usual, chain one, disregard, turn. And you are going to place a double crochet into that very first stitch that the chain one is coming out of. And I am going to reposition my stitch marker. There we go. It's a little bit of work to do this, but it makes sure that you're not losing stitches, okay? That you do the last stitch. Now we are going to skip one stitch. In the next one, we are going to do, so yarn over, a double crochet. 
a chain one and a double crochet. Then you skip two stitches in the third one. You're going to do a double crochet, a chain one and a double crochet. This is the V stitch, of course, and this is chain three. So we are doing the V stitch of one double crochet, one chain and one double crochet in every third stitch. Apart from here, where we just skip the one. OK, so we are going to do this all along the row and if you are doing this in your blanket you should have 64 v's here on my sampler i will only have 10 v's I am doing my last V and then I have one stitch here left that's free that's fine and then I will have the last stitch here with my stitch marker so in there I am going to do a double crochet now sometimes that stitch marker does get in the way but it will be fine there we go okay oh no I need to change color so don't do the last pull through or undo it like I just did now and we are ready to cut off our yarn and start doing the next color and the next color is mocha so pull through the mocha chain one turn and this, of course, is chain four. And we are going to get started by doing a double crochet in the very first stitch. Then putting your stitch marker into that V that you have just created. And then you are going to place a double crochet on top of every stitch. So if it's a double crochet here, you can go in it. If it's a chain, you can go around it. There we go. See? And, of course, this way you are going to be doing your 194 double crochets again. And I'm nearly at the end of the row. And indeed, here I've got my stitch with the stitch marker in, and that is where I am going to do my last double crochet. And again, I'm not going to pull through the last pull through because, of course, I am changing colors. OK, so next color is cream. I'm going to pull it through and do my turning chain. I'm going to turn the work and a double crochet in that very first stitch there there we go so now i'm going to once again transfer my stitch marker into the first stitch here that i've just done and this time we are going to do a row of beans now chain five is a bean stitch 
but I am using other beans throughout the blanket. So make sure each time you find out exactly how it is formed because I use different ones throughout the blanket, okay? So this one, we are going to go into the next stitch. You're going to yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. So now you have seven loops on your hook and now you're going to yarn over, pull through the seven loops on your hook and do a chain one. Skip one stitch into the next stitch. You're going to do the same thing, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert and pull up a loop. Seven loops, yarn over, pull through the seven loops, chain one. And this is how you are going to continue all along your row. And because this is a repeat of two, you will be doing 96 beans in this row. So once again, this is a special row. And so this makes it easier for you to count. If you have your 96 beans, then you should be okay. And of course, here on my sampler, I'm going to have 15 beans. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to continue like this. So now I've come to the end of my row. As you can see, I have one stitch left. This is the one I have to skip, so that's perfect. Then I have the stitch left with the stitch marker in. So that is where I am going to place a double crochet to finish my row. There we go. Okay, so this is the five row repeat of Jane. Jane one is a row of half double crochets. Jane two is a row of double crochets. Jane three is a row of V stitches. Jane four is a row of double crochets. And Jane five is a row of beans. Now, to help you to place Jane one onto Jane five here, I'm just quickly going to show you what to do. So, row six or chain one again is in duck egg so i am going to pull through the duck egg on my last pull through here there we go so i've undone that one pull through the duck egg chain one turn i'm going to do a half double crochet here transfer my stitch marker i'm just showing you this you don't need to do this in your sampler okay and now we have to deal with the v's on top of the bean and then the v's of the chain so that's why i want to show you what i am going to do here so here the first stitch that i'm doing here is going to be a half double crochet on top of the bean and then the next one is going to be a half double crochet around the chain. Then the one on top of the bean. Then the one around the chain. You see, because of course you have to crochet the row five and row one together. And you have to sort of make sure that it's a logical transfer. So chain one on top of chain five is quite simple to do, but just you know, make sure you do it in a uniform way. Mm -hmm. 
Now you should have this part of the sampler in one colour up to the bean here. And that is what you are going to keep next to you as well as, of course, the pattern and the list of colours for you to create this first week's worth of rows. So remember, you are going to repeat the five Jane rows that I have just shown you six times to make a total of 30 rows this week. We are changing colours every row, but no worries because we don't need to weave in any ends. I hope you will enjoy this week's episode of the Lizzie Blanket Cal. If you have any questions, if you want to post your progress, please do go to the Facebook group. I'm sure there will be plenty of you there enjoying this cal. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!